Hi friends, welcome back. Now let us see some population trends in India. So the trends of population in India include the size of the population, the population growth rate, then the birth rate, death rate, rural and urban population divide and proportion of female to male population etc and their related statistical information along with their interpretation and their analysis. Now the very first population census. Census is a study of made by the government right, of the demography of the country. Right? Every 10 years, normally in India, every 10 years uh, census study is taken. First census study was conducted in 1871. Yani we can say um, the British time. The British did this census study, right? Owing to the initiative of Jamshedji Tata. After that, a systematic census was conducted in 1891, and thereafter, it has been conducted every 10 years. So, the first census of independent India was conducted in 1951. So, 51, 61, 71, 81 onwards, right? Every 10 years, um, uh, the starting year of the decade, there will be a census study. And the census study gives an idea about the population trends. See, all these tra uh, trends, the size, the growth rate, the birth rate, death rate, rural urban divide, the uh, female to male ratio, the education levels, occupation levels, income levels, all these are included in the census study and it's a, it's a very, very important statistical that, uh, tool right? because government will plan f its future strategies on the base of the census. So now let's take the first parameter. It is the size and growth rate of India's population. So, the size of population will refer to the total population of the country during different periods and the population growth is known as the percentage increase in population, right? So, uh, every year or every 10 years, what has been the percentage increase in the population that is called the population growth rate and the actual population that that's the total population in a particular year is called the size of the population. So now when we look at this data, this data starts from 1901 and it it's still 2001. So, so the first table, first column shows the population and the second column shows the average yearly growth rate of population in percentage. This data is per decade per decade per 10 years a eh? decade means for a 10 year period so you see in 1901 the population of india was only 23.8 crore and you see so the growth rate you see is only 0.08 percent it means in every year only 0.08 percentage population will grow that's a very it's a nominal value right? it means that population is practically stable then you see again see in in the next 10 years it has only increased by 1.4 crores it's 25.2 crore again you see growth is only 0.57 very less growth then 1921 is a very special year you see it is the only year in which population has gone down it has gone down to 25.1 crore you see so um, one point point one crore population has gone down so the negative growth rate was seen then you see from that after that 31 41 51 61 till 61 you see another divide is coming up till 61 the population growth rate is less than two percent see after independence our population growth rate is increasing 1.33 percent 1.25 percent 1.96 percent and then look at what happens after 1971 right at independence our population was around 36 crore right see and if we see the 
data in 1901 it is 23.8 crore in the 50 years from 1951 population has gone up only 13 crore you see plus 13 crore population has grown up now not a big in increase very very manageable but then you see from 51 to 2001 look at this jump the population has gone from 36 crore to 102 crore so friends that is around 64 66 crore 66 crore jump in the next 50 years you see it's a five time increase in the first 50 years compared to the next 50 years right from 1971 you see population is growing at two percent and above so till 71 to 91 decade population has increased by two percent then slowly see in 2001 1.97 percent now again 1.64 percent so according to census of india 2001 the indian population was 121.02 crore so your que your question in your mind will be what will be the population in 2020 or in 21 or you may ask what may be the population forecast in 2031 41 51 will it keep on increasing like this let's just see a little bit okay i'll, I'll show you something more okay now this is a um, estimate this is the historical figure this part this is the current figure and the projections of united nations so you see currently in 2020 our population growth rate is 0.99 percent and our indian population is 138 crore that right? 138 crore is our population now you see this trend it is increasing increasing see the blue line the population is going up by 2030 india's population will reach 150 crore say 150 crore will be our population it is not going to go down yeah but you can see the growth rate see the blue uh, green, uh, yellow line the growth rate is only 0 0.74 percentage right 0.74 so growth rate is slowly going down now look at 2040 in 2040 our indian population will be 159 crore but growth rate you see is going down 0 0.43 so our population is going to increase but at a decreasing rate and then you see 2050 population of india will be 163.9 crore so 164 crore but growth rate has gone very down 0 0.19 percent only then look at this the first time in 2059 or 2060 let's see in 2059 uh, time may come our population will be 165 crore but the growth rate will be only 0 0.01 crore uh, 0 0.01 percentage and after that population of india will keep on decreasing say the growth rate will be negative and it's a negative growth rate but population of india will now come down 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 see in 2100 population of india will back, come back to 145 crore so what it was in um, 2026 the same level will come back in 2100 so the population of india will increase but maximum will be 165 crore and then it will go down if we look at some statistics you see india and china in 2018 are not far behind china in 2018 was 139 crore india was 135 crore and our third number at number three is 32.6 crore that's usa very behind 100 crore people behind 103 crore people behind india then comes indonesia at 26 crore then pakistan at 21 crore then brazil at 20.9 crore then nigeria at 19 crore bangladesh at 16 crore you see these are poor countries the only rich country with high population is usa russia 140 uh, 14 crore then japan 12.6 crore see now some developed countries with um, a good population then mexico ethiopia philippines egypt vietnam congo see germany it is only 88 crore the entire country has only 8 crore population imagine friends and the per capita income is uh, more than india so that is the um, power of a good population right so and when you compare the growth rate of population 
right? Population growth rate by country when you take. You see countries like Bahrain, Niger, Maldives, Uganda have a very high growth rate, 5%, 4% growth rate every year. Malta, they have 3% Oman. At the same time, you see the developed countries of the world, European countries of the world have a population growth rate around 1% or even less. You see, you see India also is somewhere in that 1-2% to range. Then you see New Zealand, then... Um, Hong Kong, right? All the Switzerland, Norway, Fiji, right? Man, all have UK, all have one percent. And countries like Singapore, China have, uh, have now come to zero percent growth rate, right? They have stabilized their population. Even and countries like maybe um, Japan are going in negative. You see, Japan is minus zero, so it's in the negatives. And again. Countries like Romania, Bulgaria, Latvia, Bosnia, Croatia, see their population is decreasing very drastically. Right? In Puerto Rico and Moldova, Puerto Rico's minus 4% growth rate is there. Every year the population is decreasing very rapidly. So when we analyze this data, like the chart which we uh, saw okay, from 1951, 36 crore to 2011, 121 crore. So, between 1901 to 1921, right, population growth rate was very slow. 1901 to 1911, there was a 5.7% incre increase in total population in 10 years. From 11 to 21, the population went down to minus 0 0.03. The, re real, uh, the main reason was high death rate because of diseases like cholera, plague, tuberculosis, malaria, influenza all leading to high death rate. Now, except for 1921, population growth rate was very high. So, 1921 is considered as the year of great divide. Why? Because after 1921, in every decade, the population growth rate has been high. Right? This is a reason. Okay, why is 1921 known as the year of great divide? And then, in 1951, planning started in India, facilities started increasing, health facilities improved and so did our population from 36 crore in 51 to 102 crore in 2001. So we have a 66.16 crore increase net in our Indian population. So every year in present times, India's population increases by 170 lakh means 1 crore 70 lakh. So, every year one Australia is added to India's population. Now, this is a very sad situation. The entire population of Australia is this much. Every year India adds that to our population. So, it's very hard to um, uh, give all facilities to all citizens because of this high growth rate of population. Now, see, India is uh, the second country in the world, high, high population rate. China is number one. But still, China's growth rate is now around 0%. And India's growth rate is still in the high ones, right? 1.5 and up. So, India is going to cross China in the next few years. Right? So, India's demogra uh, demographers, people who study population, forecasted that by the year 2000, India's population will cross 100 crore mark. And that was proved right. According to World Development Report of 1997, India's population was 93 crore. According to Indian Census of 2011, between 2011 and 2025, population growth in India will be around 139.98 crore. Uh, friends, this we are already at 138 crore in 2020 itself. Right? 2021, maybe we are going to touch this uh, data. Right? Is it right? Let's see. Right now, we saw in 2020 itself, the Indian, Indian population is 138 crore. It will be 139 crore in 2021 itself. So, we are not going to wait till 2025 to reach this figure. We have already touched that. That is one thing which is not good for India. A very high population. Okay, we stop this video up here. Now, in the next video, we will take up the other uh, trends. The male and female population, rural urban population, etc. So, meet you in the next video. Bye, friends.